Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. Ready to jump into a current energy check for my gorgeous bulls, my babies. Hi, I was busy yesterday. Um, busy with the babies, so I apologise. Um, but happy Tuesday. How are we all? Let's get you an energy check, guys. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> so, welcome to the channel. If you are new, do subscribe. Oh my god, new house, new baby. Some of you that are moving home are going to get pregnant. Um, just throwing that out there. But hi, if you're new, do subscribe. Let's connect energies. If you are returning, I love you all. How was your weekends? Um, mine was nice and quiet. Some of you are going to get news of a pregnancy. Um, that is a gift from the divine, from the universe. Um, oh, someone, oh, some of you are traveling to somebody. Some of you are traveling, you're moving on to someone, you're moving to someone. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going, Taurus? I mean, this could be the other way around, flip it by all means. No gender in tarot. Um, but I feel like you're on your way to someone there. You're on your way to go and see somebody. Someone that you find very attractive. Oh, okay. Show me. Take the time as it resonates. Um, this is current energy. Past is a minute ago and prior. Future is in a minute and beyond. So take it as it resonates. Do what you need to do with the messages, but do not force them to fit if they're not for you. Okay. Um, show me Taurus's messages. We're moving on to someone new. Um, but I feel like... For a lot of you, it's going to see someone, getting your car, going on a little trip, going on a drive. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. Listen, some of you are going to find out someone's gone to jail and it's going to be great news. Some of you are going to find out someone's coming out of jail and it's going to be great news. Flip it all as you see fit. There's something coming to light. There's something coming to light that you're going to be very happy about. You're going to be very happy when whatever this is comes out. With the living room. You're going to be toasting, cheersing, celebrating, being acknowledged, rewarded, high honours. You know, some kind of recognition going on here from something, someone that's stuck, trapped, mentally, physically, both. Someone's getting out of that. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Someone could literally be getting out of jail, going to court and getting out of jail. Um, Or it's getting out of a situation. Something quite important though. You could have advised this person of something at some point. Oh. You could have had some kind of like chemistry with this person, but Maybe not necessarily anything intimate, but there's some kind of chemistry with this person, but that won't be for all of y'all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get some more. Whatever it is, Taurus, you're going to be happy. You could be seeing 11-11 um, a lot, a hell of a lot. The number, um, Angel number 222. Show me someone's Someone's been being strategic in a way that this comes about. Someone's been having to be strategic. That would make sense for those of you that someone's getting out of jail because they've had to be strategic in being able to do so. Not in a sneaky way, in like, you know, they've had to work on it. Someone's got pictures of you. Someone's got photos of you. Someone that made you feel like an option, a one night stand, or just a bad decision, or something that was just completely like unconventional, like it was something that you'd never see yourself normally doing, kind of thing. A lot of you are just happy being single right now. Someone is taking a risk and becoming single, and that's what you're gonna find out. That in prison, that prison when is anything. It doesn't have to be jail, but. For a lot of you, it is some form of jail, whether that's mental, physical, both. 
incarcerated <laughs> in a situation that they just don't want to be in but they feel like they have to be and they're stuck in soulmates this is your soulmate someone that you've got love for uh but like it kind of it's outdated it's about to evolve to the next phase what the hell oh show me messages for taurus please spirit somebody rising in venus what do my darlings need to see today for their highest good palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility show me some more someone knows that you bring a lot to a table do you know what i mean like you've got a lot of your own of this someone's been stuck in this as well because that's hitting the prison so it's like some form of again staying out of obligations um Show me more. Show me more, please, for Taurus. is here date meeting someone new dating get back out there plan set a date and the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so you're going to be very happy someone's going to come and ask you out because oh my god you're going to be over the moon that someone's relationship's over <laughs> someone's going to come and tell you Taurus that they've um that they can ask that they, they want to they want to take you out this could be a secret admirer because it could be someone that you know as not let on how they feel because they couldn't but now they're gonna now they are going to i mean you're gonna be very happy for them though that they got out of this whatever situation that they was in so i feel like you know this person but maybe in it's like more platonic um but they want to ask you out look wedding rings someone that could have been in a, in a in a marriage in a commitment oh my god a weighted message arrives a text a call an email so you're going to be talking to someone, oh my god. <laughs> you're going to be talking to someone that is married about how they want to be with you. What the fuck? Or you're going to be hearing from someone about how they really, really, really want to marry you. You're going to find out someone wants to be with you, I'm telling you now. But for a lot of you, someone's already been in some kind of union, as it is. Um, that's why you're going to be buzzing. That's why you're going to be buzzing. Because that message is coming in. Look, a weighted message arrives. And you're going to be happy about it. That someone's relationship is over. Oh, Taurus. Okay. Look, someone's doing some travelling. Someone could be coming towards you or you're going to... Someone's going to ask you to come to them. A thief. Show me Taurus Sanger. Some of you have got jealousy around your work. Um, some of you are going through like, like a grievance or a tribunal of some sort when it comes to work or some kind of situation. Just dealing with um, spiteful people in some kind of way. Someone's been in a marriage or a commitment down for the sake of other people and who's looking, who's watching, and possibly because of assets that are attached. The people are the assets that are attached to the obligations. That's where this imprisonment is for a lot of you. You or someone else, take it as it resonates, but someone has felt very obliged because of a house, a home. It's like paying the bills. Do you know what I mean? Um, for, for how they're seen, how they're looked at, how they're perceived. But that's getting a bit too much for someone to deal with. Someone's draining someone to fuck. Um, could be the finances. Show me messages for my Tauruses, please.
someone didn't want to give something about a house up um so they know that they've got to show me messages for taurus please we've got pathway card number 35 so you're going to be finding a lot out there's just going to be a lot of sense a big sense of freedom for somebody you know something coming to light but it's like in a very uplifting kind of way it's a sense of freedom with them butterflies it's following a path it's being guided and someone's allowing themselves to be guided to following that path do you know what i mean card number 38 something that they've been working on you them toil and labor it's graft it's not been easy so oh this is oh this is not going to be easy this date or being with this person is not necessarily going to be easy but they want it is it worth it show me messages for taurus please so being with this person what the shit that you're going to find out no one knows what goes on behind closed doors but you're going to find out a lot and in order to proceed you need to know it because it's going to be difficult whatever that means show me taurus's energy it's going to be difficult for you it's going to be difficult for you for a lot of you this is someone making it difficult for you to end a relationship but a lot of you have met someone new those of you that are ending a relationship yeah you've met someone new and that doesn't happen until unless your relationship's over and that's okay yeah i feel like you are accepting of that though and the person that you're trying to end it with is not going to be very much so but you're taught you're being told to grin and bear it yeah because the relationship's over others of you this is someone ending a relationship and coming to you when they're going to be telling you that this is not going to be easy but we are going to do it and you you right someone's like someone could be fucking i don't know being made like poisoned to stay home <laughs> being do you know what i mean drugged so they can't go out so they've got to stay that's fucking weird to say but i'm not even kidding um a lot of you won't be there to that extreme but someone's like been staying out of obligation staying in a situation because of how they are perceived throughout that you know don't want to be looked at and judged in a bad light but listen it is what it is let's get to our own. 12 21 on the clock then the queen of pentacles what you turn what you touch turns to gold my darlings you're going to be hearing from someone that you've not heard that you've not seen i spoke to you for a long while a long time the alien virgo energy you're going to be like who the fuck are you where have you been oh and you are <laughs> like someone grew up someone's gone through an awakening someone's third eyes opening Hmm. Let's get messages for my door. My darling Tauruses, my babies. Let me know if this is making sense. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. The Queen of Wands. So you're quite you're very confident here, in fact. Never mind quite. I love that card. You're very confident. You stood there with hands on your hips, like, you know, you're borderline intimidating to this person because they've been gone for that while that long. Or whatever. You've not spoken to him or whatever. And you're gonna be like, Well, where the fuck have you been? Like, where the fuck have you been? Or, you know, someone could have made you the Queen of Wands and then just went fucking ghost, the Ace of Cups. Okay. Well, that's a bloody gorgeous card. That is stunning. Something's about to be amazingly emotional. Very blue. Very blue. Very, very beautiful. I love that card. Something that can grow. I feel like seeds have already been planted for this though for a lot of you could have been like some kind of third party situation um there's a lot of people involved positively and negatively <laughs> nine of wands yeah someone's had to be batting off a lot of shit so there's a lot of people pro this and a lot of people know this <laughs> like no 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 so this person has had to do a lot of fighting maybe dealing with a lot of shit in the nine of wands you know facing their own demons as well someone's someone was a bit of a trickster and that shit's been knocked off like the rat's been knocked off um, 
by facing their own demons kind of thing. Um, so interesting, these cars. There's so much going on in them. So bizarre. Like, someone just sees your face all the time. And some of you, it's because they're looking at pictures, but they've just got you in the head all the time. Sometimes they're a bit pissed off with it, but sometimes, like, it gets to them. You know, like, when you're just a bit like, why the fuck am I thinking about Taurus again? Some of them are getting a bit like that, but... They know why, they've just not necessarily been facing it. Whatever the fuck that means. Show me Taurus's messages. Show me, show me, show me what you need to know. The Four of Pentacles. So you're... Okay. You see this person as... What mask are they wearing? Or oh, you are trying to... Okay, so you're trying to pretend that you don't necessarily care. You've got... You've got like... You, you're trying to distract yourself, yeah? You're putting your mind on your pentacle. You're keeping your mind distracted. You're keeping yourself focused on other shit. Yeah? Maybe a little bit difficult for you because, you know... Things are getting through. Um, but you're very much focused on your pentacle and what's important to you right now. You, you know, your palm tree, your stability, your security. The three of cups, the four of wands. Some of you are going to get some good news about a home. The king of cups. Listen, this is... For a lot of you, this is someone coming... What, the six of swords? That's crazy. I've seen that in Kipper. Some of you are going to be making a move. Like, you're going to... Someone's going to invite you out and you're absolutely going to go. You're going to go. Could be at a distance for some of you. Um, like, you're going to get invited, you know, to, like, travel a little bit. And you're going to go. Oh, you're being told to go anyway. Show me Taurus's messages, please, for it. So me, Mars and Venus. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. The Eight of Cups. Someone's doing a lot of thinking. A hell of a lot of thinking. And it's like in always. Do you know what I mean? Someone could have suppressed a lot or, you know, just tried to brush a lot under the rug. For something to do with you. A lot to do with how they feel about you. But they've had to. Someone's got a headache. And now I've got a headache. That's weird. Someone's got a headache. Ow. <laughs> Actually got a pain right there in my head. Right between my eyes. My third eye. Someone's giving me third eye and headache. <laughs> the ace of swords. Someone really wants to tell the truth. That's why. It's giving him an headache. The pressure of it is getting to him. Do you know what I mean? Show me messages for Taurus, please. The pressure is too much. The five of pentacles, not being in contact with you. It's like it's not affecting you. It's affecting them, but you can feel it. Telepathic communication, but there's no physical with this person. Show me more. That's too many spirit one at a time, please. Someone's just wondering how you're not affected by something. That's like someone's... It's like, how are you so okay? <laughs> I feel like you've got more than one person thinking like that. The Empress, that's fucking why. That's why. Because you're the Empress. Nothing will ever get you down. Nothing will ever make you fall. Nothing will break you. Nope. You're the Empress. So, whatever shots people throw at you, yeah, you, you do nothing but fucking grow from it. You catch that shot, you nourish it, yeah, you mother it, you empress vibe it, you plant it, and it grows, and it turns into something amazing. Because that's what you do with everything you touch. To be honest, Taurus, and someone's wondering, how the fuck are you doing that? How are you so okay? The five of cups, wow. How are you so okay, says somebody. They're not, someone is not okay. Someone is not okay. Five of Cups. Someone's dealing with a lot of spilt emotions here. A lot of spilt cups. Pain. Shock. But again, someone's third eye is opening. So something could just be hitting someone all at once here. 
and it's like it's more because of how you are so okay and how you're doing so great the king of cups listen it's got someone reading their feels i'm telling you now someone is like having some kind of major major download as far as their feelings are for you feelings for you are concerned and it's all because you're in the temperance and the empress energy like not asked very okay very balanced knowing who you are you know nothing kind of takes you off that balance not a lot anyway nothing much triggers you anymore and someone can't understand how you're very connected to the divine people are trying to like you know you've got the ability to be imbalanced of course you have you know you could have people influencing influencing you which could bring you out of that temperance energy but you're not you're staying very connected to the divine situations could make you want to you know you know trigger you do you know what i mean that's that's life that happens but you're not you're not responding in some kind of way the queen of swords the nine of pentacles yeah because you couldn't give a fuck the hierophant oh <laughs> So I feel like you've got jealousy around you. I feel like you're going to be in a commitment soon. Those of you that are in the Nine of Pentacles energy, very self-focused right now, I feel like you're going to be very in a very unexpected commitment quite soon, okay? But, and I feel like it's with someone that's fucked you over. Um, someone that you kind of learn a lot from. And you want them though, but you kind of don't, like, you, you wanted them. And now you kind of don't even think about them. But there's someone, look, the Queen of Swords is always fucking here. Always here, eyeballing you in that Nine of Pentacles energy. But what they're going to be seeing now is you going into a commitment with that Hierophant. The Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, the Alien, the Nine of Cups. Someone that's been away is coming back with an apology. And it's sorry for lying. Sorry for bringing you into some kind of carnage. Could be something to do with an Aquarius. Someone's a trickster. Someone's been dealing with a trickster. Someone's, I don't like that Queen of Swords energy. You're not even looking in that direction though, so it's neither here nor there to you. But. <laughs> Some kind of bitter little bitch. I know I we'll talk about it all the time, but that's because I see it all the time. So fuck knows what you've done to piss this person off, Taurus. Maybe not in it, maybe in anything um you know but someone's very projective passive aggressive when it comes to you a blame or someone blames you for something big time and it's a divine feminine energy mother-in-law sister or ex baby mama baby dada friend i don't know someone someone hates how and it's aside from this person you know like i don't think it's this person whatsoever it's someone else someone feels in competition with you and you're none the wiser of the game do you know what i mean someone competes with you and you don't even know that that's going on um but they compete with you it, oh shit sorry in their own little way weird show me what all this is about Show me what all this is about. The Nine of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Listen, someone that walked away from you and all they did was walk into fucking drama. Yeah? And they wish they never did. And you've been completely in the temperance energy outside of it. Do you know what I mean? And someone's, again, the Nine of Swords. How, someone's like, how, how are you so okay? Why are you so okay? They don't want you to be so okay without them kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? But they've left you. Someone that you, that, do you know what I mean? You've had to, again, become single from, grow from, whatever. They walked away from you and they walked straight into fucking carnage. Drama, arguments, conflict, jealousy, whatever. 
and you've been over there in your temperance energy minding your damn business i don't know if that camera is even focusing i am going to get my shit sorted soon so i need to get my phone fixed and stuff i need to find my laptop not found that you know the move don't know but we are here <laughs> Show me this temperance energy. Look, the seven of oh, wow. The three of wands, the seven of cups. And the ace of cups. Someone waited for you. Someone kind of waited for you to do a bit of chasing. You didn't do that. Someone's wondering whether you've got new. Someone is very confused. I mean, I feel like you've got as many options in the world as you could have, but you're not choosing them. I feel like you're waiting very, you know, kind of like, not purposely waiting. But you've got a lot of options around you and none of them are standing out, put it that way. But someone's like over someone's concerned over what options you've got. And it's like the longer away, the more options you've got. The ace of swords, judgment, the fool, the tower, shit. So someone's gonna have to take the risk and tell the truth before it's too late. Someone that's there's something to do in the <laughs> Someone that's trying to be working on a situation, you know, like, it's just not going anywhere. It's really not. And it's not down to them. It's down to who they're trying to do, like, sort it out. Sort it out with, do you know what I mean? I mean, it is down to them as well, because they're not where they actually want to be. But they're actually trying to fix whatever they've done in some kind of situation. And the person is just being very unreceptive. Well, that's for a reason. It's because they're not where they're supposed to be. So divine intervention is about to take place. The Ace of Swords, Judgment, the Fool, and the Tower. Divine Intervention. You know. Show me this Eight of Cups. Who the fuck's got an headache? The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So, someone's been... <laughs> someone that couldn't, like... Someone could have been like, oh, I can't give you enough. Or, so, you know, like, someone was like that with you. Could absolutely have been a third-party situation, but there was an imbalance. Someone's like, how can I explain it? <laughs> Some of you, for a lot of you, the imbalance was just because it was a third-party situation. They couldn't put in what they wanted to. And it's done nothing but eat at them. Because the feelings of fear have just got bigger and bigger and bigger. It's not even fucking focusing. They just got bigger, more intense. And it's like, where they went, <laughs> it's done nothing but make them think of you more for what, for whatever reason and how that can even happen. But yeah. Even if this was someone that you was committed to and you've been in separation and they've been dealing with someone else, absolutely nowhere near in the fucking world compared to you. But for however long it's taken with that temperance for someone to actually get a headache over it, it's happening. It's like someone's feelings. It's like someone's just realising that they could have been responsible for causing heartbreak here. And it's they could have been feeding more people, not prioritising you, not giving you enough, whatever it was. But it's like it's the effects are being felt now. The wheel of nine of wands, the eight of cups. Someone now wants to walk away from that fucking drama. Show me this five of pentacles, please, for Taurus. I don't read reversals, as you know. The fool, the hangman, three hundred and Aries, Pisces, a Libra. The fool, the hangman, the page of cups, and justice. So you're gonna, someone's gonna listen. It's like. Someone that you've not spoken to, yeah, with the Five of Pentacles. There's been no contact other than any, other than telepathic, yeah. There's been no physical contact with whoever this is. And if it, if there has been, like, communication, it's not been about you and them. Possibly about the kids, if nothing else. But someone's about to take that risk with the fool because they've been looking at a situation differently and or you're being told to look at the apology differently as well. It's like some of you don't even want it anymore. Justice is being served here, and it's someone reaching out. For a lot of you, it's to do with an apology. Look, someone's changing this cycle. Oh, but also, a lot of you have got some crazy ass obsessed people with you online, especially those of you that work online. Um, 
but for a lot of you so one's changing this this karmic cycle yeah they want a new one with you with the ace of wands they dream about you but they're watching you move away they're watching you move on they're watching you be successful they're watching you be okay but i feel like the more you're okay the more they're not Mm -hmm. but it's like someone's going to take the risk or you're being told to you know the feel it's a new beginning a new beginning something spontaneous you know you're being asked to have blind faith look at a situation differently from a bigger perspective um and it's to do with someone reaching out with that page of cups an emotional message an apology and it's nothing other than it, nothing other than what you deserve with this justice this is fair it's balance mm -hmm. show me this empress oh he's flying out these cards the five of wands the eight of cups someone's walking away from the drama that they left you and headed into fuck you know it's like talk about 360 what else came out on that one the two of cups and the king of swords oh god so someone's about to be real someone's ready to be real they don't want the drama that they chose to walk into like they're just forever arguing having drama with the five of wands fighting possibly physically for some they're walking away from that and this is over a soulmate they're walking to their soulmate someone's about to be honest be real truthful with that king of swords Honestly, could be an air sign, doesn't have to be. Someone's walking towards you. I mean, I don't know why, it's like a bit cowardish. You know, like a bit cowardice to however you say it in the past. Because it's like they had the opportunity, but they didn't take it. I mean, I know everything happens for a reason. I don't believe in coincidences. So, but yeah, they had the opportunity and they didn't take it. And you've done nothing but heal and be okay since that and it's like how when there's so much that was possibly involved maybe there was a lot of feelings a lot of feelings involved but there's also a shitload of secrecy in some kind of way and it's like you've been okay you know lack of closure lack of all that it's like lack of truth you've been okay you've done fine without it absolutely fine without it someone else is not however Show me this five of cups, please. Ten of cups. Jesus, this is someone that you had a family with for a lot of you. Got kids with. The six of cups, the three of pentacles. Blimey. So, for, listen, if this is not someone that you've had a very strong, beautiful relationship with in this life, you've had it in the past, and now it's time to come back around and kind of like put that, con you know, like, what do you, how do you, what do you call it? Serve that contract. Do you know what I mean? It's time to, that soul contract, it's time to do it again. Work on it again. Come together again. There could be a friend involved here. I don't know why I keep seeing that a lot, but I do. This could be a good or a bad way. You know, the Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. So there could be a friend telling someone to do what it is that they want to do, to go and be happy. It could be a friend coming to speak to you on their behalf. This could be, I don't know, or just collaborations, someone knowing how to work on this, on what you need to do. Um, show me this three of pentacles, please. The seven of swords. Oh, what's that about? This could have been a work situation, someone regrets lying. Um, or someone. Show me this seven of swords. The magician so someone was tricky someone was manipulative someone knew what they was doing someone knew exactly what they was doing so someone like knew what they got themselves into right and then boom divine intervention so someone didn't listen someone didn't listen to the divine so it's here again 
Is someone going to listen this time and tell the truth? Someone needs to really step into the truth because this is just going to happen again and again and again. Um, yep. You could have asked this person or told this person to say what it is that they need to say. And maybe they didn't right there and then. But they've done nothing but think about it. I think they're about to. Show me this King of Cups, please. Ten of Wands, the King of Wands, and the High Priestess. So someone can't deal with the intensity of the emotional side of the connection, the physical side of the connection. Someone as well feels like a, feels like a, a bit of a disadvantage because of your High Priestess skills. We've seen that before as well. Someone, it's like you know, they know you know. And they just feel a little bit at a disadvantage because of it. Um, or they feel silly because they know you know. They know you're the high priestess. They know you know how much you want them. They know you know how much they love you. What they feel about you. How they feel about you. Um, yeah, but they just feel a little bit silly because they know you know. <coughs> well, that's just, you know, silly. Someone needs to not focus on that. But the wheel, the emperor, the hermit, the devil... Someone is doing shadow work on that devil energy and that's either on themselves or someone that they're dealing with. And they're about to come and tell you. But they feel a bit silly, you know. It's not been easy. The Nine of Wands, it's Wounded Warrior. But this cycle for them has not been easy, but it's been purposeful. It's been meant to be like that for them. You've been brought into this because you have got it about you to be able to deal with it. Like I say, whatever. They don't know how you're so fine because they're really not. Whatever and however this resonates, guys. I hope it makes sense. That's what we've got. Let's get you some moonology. Let's get you some moonology for some advice. The energy is gaining momentum. Be bold and make the first move. So someone knows what they need to because you're not about to. Have faith in your dreams. But it is something that you wanted once upon a time. You wanted this. And it's like it's just unattainable. So what's the point in wanting it? Um, nothing is yet set in stone, my darlings. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay. That's what you thought. This is really what you thought. And this is why you're so okay. <coughs> God, excuse me. My throat chakra has been, been seriously attacked today. I feel like it's just on me in general. Show me messages for Taurus. Nothing will come of you like you've added it off. Nothing will come of this situation, you write it off. Hold your vision. <laughs> and that's what you think. That's what you think. Honestly, some of you had a lot of because obviously temperance is also patience. Do you know what I mean? It's not just about being harmonious within yourself and temperance in yourself. It's patience. So some of you had enough patience and thought, fuck that. Fuck you. See you later. You know, you never come in. You never come in. Well, that's what you think. Balance spirituality and practicality. Keep balanced. I always see this as two people coming together harmoniously, lovely. Uh, you know, like it's allowed. It's allowed as and when, when it can, when it can be, when it can be balanced, when it can be practical. Confidence is your key to success. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. Don't focus on that though. Take time to breathe out. Step out of your comfort zone. Someone's ready to do it. You just thought this was done dusted, but it's not. Quite the opposite, in fact. This is what I've got. Exciting reading, my babies. I love you all millions. Um, show me some love, please. I do need, I feel like I need the motivation. I do. So give me some. Give me some, give me some, give me some. And I'll see all your beautiful selves tomorrow. Mwah. Love and light to all of you. Mwah.